all right so yo what is going on guys it is me avid Saki, here back at it again with another video so today's video is going to be a little bit different so as y'all know the new season started and everybody's arena points have reset and um everybody's going to be on that grind trying to get the champs again so this video is going to point toward mainly console mobile and switch and how to get to champions league the fastest and most effective way so basically um so basically arena is not something that's platform it's cross-platform so the higher you rank up in divisions you're for sure gonna be in lobbies with 240 fps pc players who just have every single um mechanical and hardware advantage over you and and that's actually really really hard to fight and this video is going to point towards how um, console players can actually get to Champions League very very quickly so let's get right into it alrighty everybody so yeah so before I wanted before we get started on the video um, today I'm gonna be making a another little quick shout out so today's shout out is gonna go to squeaky I will leave his channel link in the description below make sure to go check him out and drop him a sub let's try to get him to 100 subscribers guys that would be awesome so yeah Alrighty, so each arena phase, so arena has different divisions, all the way from Division 1, all the way up to Division 12, with Division 8 being Champions League. So basically, Division 1 is Open League, where you face against players who are not really that good, and you can easily beat them. So any person can make their way all the way to Division 4 without any trouble. Almost everybody can. It's really, really easy. And there's no bus fare involved. So basically, if, for you guys who don't know what bus fare is, um, so basically, after Division 4, every game you get on, every game you play you're gonna the, you're gonna have to pay 10 of your arena points to actually get to play the game so that's why it's very important to be consistent after division 4 in arena because the bus fare actually increases exponentially every division so it goes from 10 bus fare all the way to 60 um bus fare once you hit champ so that's why it's very hard so basically this is what every console player should do so after you after you in, get into contender league your lobby is going to get a little bit more harder so you're going to have 10 to 20 bus fare and you're going to be facing players that are a little bit more highly skilled have a little bit more mechanical skill and this is where understanding the new meta comes in the new season everything's changed the charge shotguns are really weird so if you guys can take some time and like understand the map understand how to play like even the charge shotgun i know a lot of people don't like it right now but i i, I was feeling the same way about it but basically i ended up liking it a lot more now i got used to it and i'm actually very very good with it at this point so getting used to the meta is probably the best thing to stay ahead of your competition so getting used to the meta is best because no matter how high skilled your opponents are if they not if they're not used to the meta if they're they're really confused even though how good of a player they are the, if the season resets everything is all new so if you're used to the meta and they're not you have a really really big advantage over them so getting your way through contender league so the best way is solo so basically if you play solos and you pop off it's 20 points per elimination so that's actually a really really good way to get points but the thing is solos can get really really exhausting after a couple of minutes so what i like to do is i like to play trios with some of my really good friends who are in the same division as me and basically getting a really getting a good win in trios is a really good way to get a lot of points together and uh, it basically it doesn't exhaust you out as much because you're playing with your buddies and it's just really really fun overall i enjoy playing trio arena a lot and i do it a lot too so yeah, that's actually a really, really good way to get it across the contender division where your competition's a little bit more high. And yeah, so in trios, this is what I like to do. This is a good way to get to division seven. So so basically what you have to do is you go somewhere where you're really comfortable with dropping you and your trio. You're going to have to try to main like a POI, get like a plan with it and then you're just chilling because you and your all your and your whole team you know what to do and you can easily take out any opponent there so you kill everybody at your drop spot and then you play for placement after you get top 25 or top 24 or top 
or top eight in trios actually so after you get that placement then you're basically chilling and you're set to win the game so yeah so after you get that placement in trios then you can just like play it out with your trio and it's actually it's actually a really really f fun thing to do and it's like not as exhausting as solos because i know solos can be really really boring but if you get a lot of kills in solos early on it's actually very good in the long run but trios is actually a very very good way to division up in the contender league all right so next up um i'm assuming that all of you have gone to division seven so now getting to four thousand points can be a little bit difficult but Mostly everybody can do it. Any console player, any mobile player, they can do it with the help of trio. With the help of a trio, or if they're a really good player in general, they can get there as a solo too. So now, what you're gonna do is once you reach four thousand points or division seven, and you feel like every game you're just losing hype, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stop playing arena. Stop. So I know what some what some of you guys are thinking, like Advay. If you stop in your arena, how am I gonna division up? Like what? So yeah, so that is where the hype night comes in. So hype nights are actually very very useful, and hype nights are actually a really really cool mo game mode that happen on Saturdays and Sundays. And basically, if you place well in the tournament, you will get you will get arena points for free basically. So on the screen, you should be able to see the Hype Knight Plus. Um, so this is the Hype Knight Plus scoring. So it's based off of percentages, not even like placement. So it's much better and much more easy to gain hype than it would be normally. So basically this season, so the last season's format was where you could just sit in a box the whole game and then you would just like um, get placement points. But this season is a little bit different. So you're gonna have to double key because only kill points matter. So yeah, you're gonna have to only be able. You're only gonna be able to double key, and yeah. So basically, I'm gonna be making a video on the best way to effectively double key in the new seasons meta. So make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you wanna learn how to do that. But basically, getting a lot of points in this hype night is very very easy. All you have to do is make sure you get a lot of kills and you can place in the top 5% and it's really really easy. So that will give you alone a lot of hype and and the thing is you can play these on any server too and base and so you could play them on europe any east and any west so you could play up to three hype nights a day and if you score if you're a really good player and you score top one percent in all of those you'll get so much hype you will get like you will get almost four thousand hype just from placing in those so yeah, that's actually a really, really cool way. And the another really, really good thing is I'm pretty sure that they are on Saturdays and Sundays. So um, yeah, I'm, well, they were on Saturdays and Sundays for like last season. I'm not sure if they are on this season, but for sure they're on Sundays this season. So yeah, they're like, it's a really, really good way and they happen every single week. So you have a lot of time. So basically the tournaments for trios and all that stuff you basically need to be in contender league but there is one tournament um there's actually two tournaments the champion league trio cups where you need to be in champion league and um if the champion league trio cup and fncs solos so those are the two things that you need to be in for champion league so to play and participate in so yeah so hype night is a very great and effective way to get into champs really fast so yeah, guys, by Division 7, you sh you're going to be facing a lot of PC players. It's going to be really, really hard to fight them. So yeah, a Hype Knight is basically the best way to get into champs. So I know that this Hype Knight meta is a little bit different than the last ones where you just have to double key and only kill points matter. So I'm going to be making a video on how to play this new Hype Knight, how to double key in it, how to double key good players effectively. So make sure to, again, subscribe with post notifications on if you want to see that. And if, if this video actually helped you out, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one peace